Hello. Hi. Alicia walks in and she's got an envelope. The first thing I think is it's a single date. You guys have all just been on a group date. It's time for a single. The card is a group date. Yeah. Surely the girls that didn't go camping. I immediately presume it's going to consist of girls that didn't go on the Paradise group date. Just, you know, so Nick can get some more time with, with the other girls. OK, the first name on this group date card is... Emily! Yeah. Very funny, smart. Willie, I'm going on the group date. <laughs> Last name on this group date is... Cassie! Yay! Yay! <laughs> that really surprised me because I thought I'd just gone on this camping trip and I wouldn't be going on another group date so soon. I feel like I've built a little bit on our connection and now I just want to see where that goes and get the opportunity to spend more time with him. Three additional ladies are also joining you on this date. <gasps> Intruders. Oh. Straight away, I freaked out. Everyone's freaking out. Oh. <laughs> Intruders? Why? It's taken us so long to get to this point already, and now three more are coming in? Jesus. And they each have something in common with Nick. Deanna is an elite sports person. Which he said wasn't a deal breaker, if you're not. Yeah. OK, so let's write them off right now. Yeah. OK, so cut Deanna <laughs> to the side. Yeah. Please, yeah, cut her off. Yeah. Jamie Lee. Terrible name. Terrible name. <laughs> Hyphenated. Jamie Lee is always up for an adventure. So are we. Yep, don't know about Jamie Lee. Brittany <gasps> is looking for her final love. So, so are we. we. Yep. Mate, they got nothing on us. Um, I don't think they really stand much of a chance because every quality that was bred out on that card, we already obtain in the house. We have girls who are into sport, we have adventure lovers, and everyone in here is looking for love. So, mate, you're nothing special. I think Nick has no idea. No, I don't think he knows at all. Girls and I, we walk down the driveway and we see Nick and Osh just standing there. We're thinking, does Nick know what is just about to happen? This is nuts. Ladies, thank you for accepting the invitation. Thanks for the invitation. <laughs> now, before we get the group date underway, Nick, I've taken the liberty of inviting three more ladies to come and join you. Three more ladies that you have not met. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the mic drops. Ooh. <laughs> When I should have said those three new girls are coming in, I'm thinking, OK, let's not react too intensely because all the girls are in front of me. Now, this is all news to Nick. These ladies already knew this. Yeah. Mm. But you had no idea this was happening. No. Well, wow. this could be interesting. After 10 years of footy, I've developed a poker face. Inside, alarm bells, red flashing lights. It's all happening. But on the outside, I'm like, oh, OK, cool, that's nice. Well, they're here. Why don't you go say hello? Yeah? Yeah. Off you go. I don't know. Girls. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> don't have too much fun. <laughs> we'll, we'll just be here. Right <laughs> At least we get to watch him walk away. Holy smokes. My heart's like, yeah, you beauty, you know, get to meet new girls and see if I get along. And up here, he's going, are you sure about this? How are you going to bloody navigate this world now? brunettes. I don't know what Nick's type is, but hopefully it's blondes. <laughs> Hi. Hello. 
Nice to finally meet yeah. you. Good. What's your name, Sarah? How are you? Good. Diana. Diana, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Good. Thank hey? you. I feel like a shiny Tinkerbell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you certainly do. So, what's the go? What are you into outside of all, you know? I'm an ex athlete swimmer, so. Okay. Swimmer. Ever since I was young, I've been swimming competitively. Went to Olympic trials. Oh, wow. National level, so I think we've got a lot to catch up on. <laughs> Racing. Yeah, done a bit of that myself. <laughs> race, yeah, put a race on for sure. Let's go for a race. <laughs> From the first meeting, Diana, I feel there's more to see. I reckon she'll get amongst it because she's just got that bit of fire in the belly. <laughs> I don't rate her. Cat, you were just like <laughs> classic cat. I'm pretty sure you'll, uh, you'll fit, in, fit in just well. I'm actually nervous because I've got all the girls behind me that I've already established a connection with looking on at what's going on. You know, it's like, say when you've got a girlfriend and she's over there somewhere and, and another girl comes up and, and starts talking to you, like, oh, g'day, how you going? Yeah, yep. Yeah. And then all of a sudden she's giggling and when she giggles, your girlfriend turns around and looks at you and you're like, her eyeballs are burning through your head and you're like, right, right, relax, Jesus. Doesn't matter, you know, they're still up here. Great to see you. you and uh, welcome. Oh my god, girls, here we go. Thank um, you. Make sure you head over there and introduce yourself to the I girls. will. Look forward to spending some time. Sounds good. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> We're really just going to make you walk the whole way. Hey, I'm Kat. I'm Deanna. Nice, nice, to, nice meet to meet you. you. I think one of their names, it's like D Di or like Daria or like Danica or something. No one remembers. <sighs> Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Good, good. Welcome to the crew. Thank you. I'm Jamie Lee. Jamie Lee, I'm Nick. Nick, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you Finally. Down. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah. How's right in? All good? Um, it was good. I'm a little nervous, can you tell? Oh, it's fine. <laughs> Wait, it's all good. Let's, let's, let's just do a little a little, a little one of oh, these. This is uh, beautiful. Just just to chill out a bit, you know. Jamie Lee, she looked really nervous. <laughs> More than me. <laughs> well, Talk to me. So, where are you from? Um, I'm from Sydney, but I grew up in um, in Byron Bay in Kiama, so a little bit of both. Byron and Bay, I also beautiful grew up spot. On property had lots of animal pets. And... Oh wow! Yeah, love it. Love what about it. Yourself, are you like an animal person? I am. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, my job was the chooks. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I had pet chickens, <laughs> and I'm obsessed with them. <laughs> I felt some good vibes from her early. You know, sometimes when you're just standing next to someone, you can just feel if they're gelling with you or not. Um, I, I like that. I'd like to explore that. It was lovely meeting you, Nick. Absolutely. Give us a little spin here with the ramp. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you uh, very shortly. With that, you will. Introduce, you, introduce yourself to the girls. Thank you. See you soon. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, dude, that jumpsuit is banging. Jamie Lee is really beautiful, and she's got a banging bod. I'm Kat, how are you? Kat, nice to meet you. Oh, you too, welcome. Thank you so much. Hi. Jamie Lee and Nick seem to get along, and she's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm actually really kind of stressing and a little bit concerned right now. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello, lucky last. How are you? How are you? Good, good. I'm Nick. Uh, I'm Brittany, how are you? Brittany. Oh, I already said that. <laughs> Come here. I'm so nervous. Nice to meet you, darling. Nice to meet you too. So, talk to me. What's the go? Like, you know, where? What are you looking for? Why? why what's I'm your looking reason? for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think you have some trouble on your hands because I think I'm pretty funny. Okay. I like to think anyway. <laughs> yeah. Brittany comes down. You can tell she has a ball of energy. She's just full of beans. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> when I found out it was you, I was like, yes, I need to go in the house. <laughs> he needs to know who I am. He go, I'm like, woo, let's party. <laughs> Brittany was just a little bit all over the shop. She was kind of like, woo, 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 woo. Oh, it's meant to be. No. She seemed a bit Jack's crackers. I went to Japan in November. Yeah? Yeah. Konnichiwa. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no. No, like, no, you didn't just do that. Like, hey, I live in Bali, hello. Like, you know, it was just, I just can't believe those words came out of her mouth. It was just cringe-worthy. Yeah, oof. It's going to be a good time in the house. Definitely, we, I'm uh, so excited. We're all about good vibes. So why don't we go for a little walk and see Definitely. the girl. But kill me first. Oh. It's lovely to meet you. Great to see you. Come with me. Great, thank you. <laughs> hello. I'm so excited to meet you all. Move over, ladies. Brittany's here. Oh, shake it. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah. How are you? You all look so amazing. 
I'm Kat. Hello. Hello. How are you? Nice to meet you, babe. Kat, well, hello. I'm Ashley. The intruders are definitely debatable. I thought there'd be some better ones coming in, but um, I don't really feel threatened by these three girls that have arrived. They don't stand a chance. Next. Oh, no, 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 no. It's old versus new. Game on. We've bloody got this and you clearly don't. <laughs> girls tackled me down to the ground. I didn't want to show Nick that I give up, so I held on to that ball. <laughs> As the competition takes a hit. <laughs> She looked like she was in so much pain. Can I just get the medic here, please? And later... I've got no idea where she's running to. A bachelor first. Keep on running. See you, babe. Don't come back. When one woman flees the mansion. It's dangerous out here. Stop! Stop running! Seriously, stop it! It's dangerous! Stop! We have three intruders, so let the games begin. It's on. <laughs> yeah, you better run. <laughs> Ladies, you look fantastic. With the new girls arriving, looks like the girls need to release a bit of tension. And there's one thing I know about team sports. It's about finding a way to release those frustrations. So buckle up, saddle up, kick them, spin them, get ready because, good Lord, anything could happen. Are you ready? for the first ever Bachelor Moonhopper Netball Tournament. <laughs> we're ready. We are. Yeah. Let's get into yeah, it. I think, yeah, I think we're pretty ready. Let's get hopping. What is moon hopping? I have no idea. I've played netball, but moon hopping, yeah, it's a bit, I don't know, it's strange. This is exactly like regular netball, except Oh my god. <laughs> You'll be on one of these! Yeah. Yeah. You see, it's netball. You'll be hopping because Nick used to be a wallaby and the. Oh. Uh, oh. Hey! Yeah. Good one, Nick. Good one. The rules are super simple, ladies. I don't, there's no way for me to hold this without it looking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Two at once. There we go. Oh, I got it. Yeah, there we go. That's good. The rules are super simple. Get the ball through the ring. The team that has the most points on the board at the end of the game will win. And just like regular netball, you can't travel up the court with the ball. You have to pass the ball from a stationary position, all right? Ref, we can't see any hopping up the field with the ball, all right? Copy. All right, if you're going to referee, you're going to need one of these. Here's your whistle. Any words of advice from you? It's going to be a fair fight. OK, good. And I like playing advantage. So play the whistle. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I don't think any of us do. We're like, mm. OK. Playing the whistle. Have a great time. <laughs> let's do it. Oh, geez, let's go. Bring it in. Yeah, bring it on, mate. I was just keen to get on the field and show those intruders what they're in for. I will make sure that we win that game. Fair and square. So, ladies, are you ready to go? Game on, girls. Osh has put us in two teams. We've got the green team and the red team. I'm in the green team. I'm along with Brooke, Kat, Britt and Alicia. And then on the red team, Emily, Cass have been put with the intruders. Green team, are you ready? Yeah. Red team, are you ready? Yes. Go. <laughs> go, go. go. No, you can't. No, you can't. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> When I get into any sport, I get super competitive and there's just no way I'm going to lose this game. Is there a three-second world? Get yeah, ready! Yeah. Travel a bit, Brian, travel! The game is a netball game with a twist. We're on massive, big, bouncy balls and we just literally just bounce around the field, throwing a ball, catching it and trying to get it in the hoop at the other end. It was absolutely hilarious. Yes! Green yes! team with one point! One well point! Done. Oh. Things started off all in good fun. Girls bouncing on balls left, right and centre. Having a fun, competitive game of moon banging Quidditch. Get it, get it, keep it! Chuck it through, chuck it through, you got it! Yes! Nice. That's two to green! Brooke's on fire, she's gone down the field and she scores us our second goal. We're up 2-0 and these intruders are going to find it a tough slog clawing their way back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Play on. The game 
is intense. Girls are just all going for it and there is no holding back at all. <laughs> We're going to have a shot. We can't tackle. This is, this is very good. Things went from zero to 100 real quick. <laughs> You know, one minute we're bouncing around, having like a pleasant game, throwing the hoops in, next minute it's bloody ten chicks on the floor tackling each other. <laughs> Get me in there! <laughs> it was legs and arms and, and I wasn't in there and I was a little upset. All I want to do is get involved. Girls tackled me down to the ground. I didn't give up on that ball. They were trying so hard to get it off of me, but no, I didn't want to show Nick that I give up. So I held on to that ball. <laughs> She's oh, no, no. Yay! Diana, or D like Daria, whatever her name is, she was coming in with way too much confidence. Like, game on, we've bloody got this, and you clearly don't. Five minutes left on the game. <laughs> All of a sudden, all the girls got rid of the hoppers, those big balls, and were just running. It turned into a netball rugby match. <laughs> what sport are we playing now? Are we playing rugby? Are we playing soccer? Are we playing Aussie rules? Are we playing kendo? The last bit of the game is just gone completely AWOL. We're tackling, there's full contact. Every girl is just all for themselves. It was fantastic. The girls were into it. It's just, thank you, mother, for the rabbits. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang. And there goes your ribs, and that'll wake you up in the morning. Hooroo. One minute left of the game. Jamie was on the floor and she looked like she was in so much pain. Okay. okay. Well done. Jeez, you're valiant out there. Uh, How are you travelling? Yeah. Is it the knee? No, it's the ankle. Ankle, bit of rolled ankle? I don't know. Okay, it's all good. We'll get some ice on it. Jamie Lee goes head over biscuit, rolls the old getaway stick. There she is on the deck looking for a medic. Can I just get the medic here, please? Jamie Lee's kind of hurt. So sorry, dude. <laughs> I tackled her and I think she may have injured her ankle. I feel so bad. I feel really bad. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Is it good? Oh. That's sore? It's really sore. <laughs> My ankle. Something's happened to it. I just wasn't buying it. I was like, this chick's lying. She is totally trying to get a bit of, like, you know, a little bit of attention. Righto, mate. Situation. Now I've got potential rolled ankle. I uh, appreciate you have a look at this. Where are you is it? <laughs> like here. Just in the side. Yeah, like in here as well. Yeah. Are you able to move it? Like yeah, I can move it. It just hurts a bit. I'm in a bit of pain at this moment. I was almost in tears. And Nick's, you know, poor thing has to look at me just like crying. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> what a start, eh? Sympathy points at least. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Jamie Lee. What a massive day for her. You know, she's come down there, nervous as all hell, existing girls behind, staring at her, and all of a sudden, she's got a busted leg. And a little tight calf after it, a little massage, maybe. I don't know, if I get time, I'll be able to give you a little massage. Oh. I'm really hoping that I get the chance to actually get to know Nick, and I'm really hoping it doesn't affect my place in this competition, and, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Oh, my am feeling a bit sore now. <laughs> Nick, my knee really hurts. <laughs> I really feel for Jamie Lee. She sort of got a bit caught up amongst the action. But you know what? She's got Nick attending to her. <laughs> it's like really painful. Yeah. I definitely feel like Nick's a bit intrigued with Jamie Lee. Yeah, which I guess is a bit worrying because that kind of takes time away from me. But I feel like I have a really good connection with Nick, hopefully. So hopefully I'm, I don't have to worry. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, we see what you did here. <laughs> Nick ended up having to carry her inside and he puts her in his arms and is carrying her back to the house. And I was just like, bloody hell, I'd bloody break both my ankles if I knew Nick was going to carry me out like that. So 
guys, should we cheers before cheers. the new girls come in and cramp our style? Yeah. <laughs> cheers to the originals. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag the originals. Cheers, cheers to love, guys. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. cheers to love. Cheers I think that's the love. most important cheers thing. To Nick. And cheers to the originals. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, guys. Cheers. So we're sitting in the beautiful garden and we're waiting for hopefully all the original girls to walk in as well as the new ones. I was really expecting the three new intruders to be absolute smoke shows. Brittany! Hello, lovely to meet you. Hi. 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 My name's Romy. Yeah. Lovely to meet you. But that wasn't too threatened. I was kind of stoked when I saw them, to be honest. Where is um, Jamie Lee? Hello. I only see two intruders. And I'm like, thinking, where the hell is the third one? Like, has she been booted out already? Brooke, where's the third girl? Where's Jamie Lee? Um, so we played a game of tackle and I accidentally tackled her and she hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's not, it's not funny. It's serious. Wait, so where is she? She's in hospital. Then I find out that Brooke has tackled this poor girl and done something to her foot and she's currently in hospital. <laughs> so have we got anything to worry about, do you think? No, no. Ooh. I'm not too sure about the second intruder's name. I think it's like Diana, Diana, Dana, Daria. I'm just going to go with Di. Daria. 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 Whatever. Diana. What's her name? Diana. Red play suit. There's not a lot going on with Dania or whatever. She looks pissed off 24 7. Like, mate, no wonder why you're 28 and single. We're wearing like long sleeve shirts and everyone's just kind of tucked them in. And she comes out with hers like knotted in her belly out. Like just like under here and she had like a whole midriff going Does on. Does she have a good midriff? No, good abs? No, no, no. I mean, her, her stomach's flat. But probably I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say no, or Brittany. Brittany. I mean, a fake tan can hide anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's no nasty competition. So that's, I think that's the thing I'd point out. Like it's nothing, nothing about it is nasty. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. It's, Everyone um, seems lovely. <laughs> Considering two of the intruders are a bit lame and one has a broken foot, I don't like the odds of them staying around for too long. G'day, g'day. Busy man. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, oh. Righto, big welcome to Diana and Brittany. Um, obviously, we've got a little little boo-boo there with uh, Jamie Lee. <laughs> uh, she'll be back and healthier than ever, so don't worry about that. But yeah, girl, just wanted to bring us all here and and uh, have a little cheers and, and just, you know, good vibes going forward. Let's have fun and uh, get to know each other, eh? Cheers. Hello. Cheers. 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 Love it. Nick looks so handsome standing there with his curly hair with that great smile. I was so excited. I decided to make a statement and pull him away just to know that I'm keen, just to show him that I'm interested. Can I take you away? I'm going to take a draw. <laughs> no draw. I've got to show you my moves. Hang on, can we just, like, watch this for a Yeah, can we watch? So, I, like... Do you like to dance? Yeah, straight, straight off the bat. She's going to dance for him, she said. Dude, what kind of dancing? That's dance dancing. for me, baby girl. Dance? dance? <laughs> no, like, not classy dancing. I mean, like, you know, like, like drop it like a tart. Already? Yeah. You want to? Ready? Right over. The new Britney, she is just the biggest weirdo. And that confirmed to me that, you know, she's not really one to worry about. OK, ready? Right over. One, one in, two in. in. Drop it like a tie. Come on, I want to go round. He's like shaking that booty. And then round. drop it like a oh, tie. He can definitely move his hips, which is an absolute surprise. I've never seen a guy dance like that before. Oh, yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Brittany, she's funny, and she's going to really uh, put the wind up, everyone, and, and get bring the vibes up. You'll get used to me. It's all good. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully he feels the spark I feel because it was f***ing hot. Oh, I just wore... <laughs> Sorry. Coming up... <laughs> a single date. They call me the honey badger, so I thought today I'm going to take you over and show you something a little sweet. Helps the bachelor find his honey. She just jammed that whole thing right in the laughing gear and gobbled it up. And later, a steamy kiss... Sends the girls into a spin. She just like, she's like, and then she just went crazy. And I was like, whoa. She runs out of the cocktail party, like, I'm victim, I'm the victim. I have copped nothing but shit from those girls. 
You can't walk further, babe. Stop running! Seriously, stop it! It's dangerous! Stop running! Really looking forward to this date. Just because either way, I'm getting a ride. On an 1800cc Indian motorbike, 300 kilos, got some junk in the trunk, can get up and boogie if necessary. Today's date with Tanil. It's been a long time coming. I've spoken with Tanil at cocktail parties, but I don't feel I know her all that well yet, so this will be good for me. I get the single date. This is going to be our first sort of alone experience together and I know we definitely get along like a house on fire and yeah we have good banter so on today's date like I'm yeah hoping for that same thing and we're just going to have a really good time. Someone cracks a packet of Tim Tams, it's passed around the group and you sort of half slide it up. So not, not completely off, it's just half off and everyone just takes it as it goes around. And you're thinking, hang on, there's how many, how many in a pack? How many people are there? Am I gonna get one? Heart starts racing. You know, this is a big moment, they're delicious. And it comes to you and you know that you can't see anything. You have to lift off the whole packaging and there's one right at the end here. And you're the last person there. And you go. That feeling right there is nothing to do with what I saw when I went and saw Tanil on the side of the road, but she looked great. Oh <laughs> my god, hello. How are you? <laughs> it's been too long. I know. <laughs> Thanks for being patient with me. What do you reckon? Yeah, wow. <laughs> Nick looks really sexy. With his brown leather jacket, his helmet. So yeah, that was doing it for me. That's mine, I'm guessing. That could be, yeah. So you ride, <laughs> do you ride much? No, no. I, like I've been on one before. All right, well yeah, I might uh, kit you up and um, we'll go for a bit of a mission, eh? I was hoping Tanil would experience a similar feeling for when I'm on a bike burning away. All right, ready? on the motorbike, which is cool. It's obviously something he loves to do, so I'm really glad I get to share that with him. <laughs> Good? Cool, eh? <laughs> Get a grip on there, it's all right. <laughs> I get to hold on to his chest and be really close and tight to him. It's, yeah, it's great. But the thought of kissing Nick does make me a little bit nervous because I've been single for four years. So, typically, no, I don't kiss on the first date. We've been driving around for a while now and I'm sort of thinking, I wonder where we're going and we pull into a really beautiful orchard between these lovely trees. Are you ready to have fun? <laughs> Always ready to have fun. <laughs> well, <laughs> here we go. So. How was that? <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy that? That was great. Good, good. Good to see that smile. <laughs> A little right now. They call, they call me the honey badger. So I thought today, I'm going to take you over and show you something a little sweet. OK. You keen? Sweeter than you. It's impossible. <laughs> Join me. <laughs> Old mate of mine, Doug. How you going? How are you, mate? Good to see yeah, you. Yeah, good. good. Right, you're looking, looking well. Thanks, buddy. Hey, yeah, mate, this nice. is Tanil, my date. Pleased Doug, to meet you, nice Tanil. Lovely to meet you. Now, Doug's the, uh, the honey master around here. That's what his missus calls him. Basically, 
he extracts honey from the hive, and he's going to show us a bit of that today. Okay. That's it. So you never taste honey like it. 100% pure and natural. But firstly, we need to suit up. Okay, so I'll give you some suits here. I, look, I mean, I haven't seen myself in a mirror, but, you know, I can only guess what Nick is thinking right now, and it's probably, she's looking really sexy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go get some bees. We're going to go and extract some bee honey. Now, I've never done this before, but God, I'll make it. I know what I'm talking about. That's it, yeah. So grip it and just pull it straight up. Okay. Oh, my God. You see the bees there? Wow. You see the honey? Now, just get that brush and gently brush away those bees. Oh. So they can... That doesn't hurt them, does nah, it? No, not at all. Busy little bees. But to has been a bit of a surprise. You know, you think, great sort, probably a bit of hard work, but absolutely not. She's just down to earth. She's happy to have a laugh and have a crack at anything. Oh, shit, there's a branch in my face. It's all good. I've got a net on. I thought we might cut a bit up and just to give Tanil a bit of a taste tester to what the freshest honey tastes like. OK, look at that. Would you like a taste? Would you like to? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, get into it. <laughs> Back yourself. <laughs> the whole thing? Well, it depends how much you want to go. <laughs> Start off small, <laughs> bit by bit. <laughs> oh, you've gone for the eat option. Isn't that what you said to do? Or you can suck on it. Ah. Oh. Yeah. That's kind of chewy, though. It's nice. She's just gone the flat-out chomp, and she's chomped it. You're supposed to just suck on it, because the honeycomb wax holds in the honey. But she just jammed that whole thing right in the laughing gear and gobbled it up. How's that? That's delicious. That's really good. Mm. Tastes amazing. Really loving it. Then I get to this point where there's just something in my mouth that won't disintegrate. <laughs> and it's chewy. <laughs> I don't know whether to swallow it or, like, what's happening here. It's the best way to have it. You should chew on that wax for a good five minutes afterwards. Does this chewy bit go away? <laughs> no. <laughs> All the sweetness goes in the, the chewy bit stays. You know, it was a tough decision. I had wax in my mouth and I'm just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, the next next part of it, to Neil. Yep. And had to spit it out. I, I didn't know what else to do. I didn't want to swallow wax, so, yeah, I had to do a stealthy little spit out. What do you say? We take our honey. Yep. And um, go somewhere we're quiet so we can have a bit of a chat and maybe share a bit of all this hard work. OK, sounds good. Cool. Yeah, I've had a really great date. I don't generally go on a lot of dates, so I don't kiss on the first date. Oh, my God. Yeah, I can't see that happening. Wow. Yeah, just thought I'd throw a few fairy lights up and get it all yeah. jazzed up for you. Did this take you long? Oh, only a couple of hours. <laughs> So far, the date's been pretty lightweight, but I am looking forward to sitting down with her, just put my hand around her, and just see her on a different level to what we have so far. We've got a little something here. It's called honey mead, all right? Yeah. Go on. So, honey mead is made uh, from bees. Actually, this honey mead was made from those very bees today. OK, good. Um, so, back in the medieval days, mm -hmm. uh, newlyweds, were given honey mead. Now, they were given enough for one lunar cycle. Mm -hmm. And it was to signify luck and prosperity in their new relationship. And that's where the term honeymoon came from. Oh, OK. Mm. Yeah. But um, I just thought maybe we could uh, share a bit of honey mead together. OK. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Cheers. Having time to just sit down and talk to Nick. I'm feeling really good about my connection with Nick so far, and I'm super happy about how the day went. And yeah, I'm just feeling really content. Now, do you know what a lunar cycle is? The moon. Something to do with the moon. Oh. No, I feel like I can get this. Yeah, you will. Okay. You're a bright cookie. Isn't the lunar cycle like how? <laughs> Those earrings look terrific, by the way. 
they might be weighing down my head and that's why I can't think of what a lunar cycle is. The like process of the moon, like it's half moon, full moon, so like... Yeah, how yeah. Do you, okay, you, can you just say it? Because like, I know you're going to make it sound really good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Before going on my single date, I thought it was a bit hard to comprehend kissing someone that's previously kissed X amount of people before me. Oh, done it again. I lose every time. I thought you would have learnt by now. I know for a fact he's kissed several of the girls that he's gone on a single date with in the house. So, yeah, I mean, in the real world, I wouldn't stand for that and I wouldn't probably want to kiss someone that's just kissed X amount of people, but I'm feeling really good about Nick, yeah. Oh, I've had fun today. I really have. Yeah, so did I. Today's been awesome. So I would like to offer you... Daniil. Nick. Today's been great. I hope in the future we can get to know each other a bit further, a little bit deeper. So, Daniil, will you accept this rose? Definitely. <laughs> Good enough. Thank you. We shared a sneaky kiss. Oh my god. Mm. Mm, I feel you. Nick's a really good kisser, yeah, definitely. I think from the kiss I can tell we're definitely not friend zoned, which is a good thing. Yeah, there's a bit of passion behind whatever we are at the moment. Still to come. Why are you on The Bachelor? Stop saying it, Romy! A cocktail party confrontation. Would you stop putting words in my mouth? Tanil is screaming at me saying, I don't know what you're talking about. Stop putting words in my mouth. Makes Tanil pull the plug. How do you get this And then run for the hills. <laughs> I just don't want to be in this house anymore. My date was fantastic. Like, I could not fault a thing on it. Did you feel a connection? Did you get to have a kiss? Yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which was, yeah, super sexy. He's amazingly hot. Anyone you know? can rocket it to you. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, God, I could not get any hotter, surely. <laughs> no, it was really fun. What I found to be quite off-putting when Tanil got home from her single day. She made it very clear that she would never kiss him on the first date. And it's gross, 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 gross. I know, and then she sits there and acts out and demonstrates the kiss in front of oh my God. all of the girls. Up until her single day, Tanil was very vocal about the fact that it was tacky, classless, disgusting, gross to kiss on the first date. Next minute, she's at home acting it out, literally, physically. I played Nick, so I had to sit back on the couch and she be her. literally discussed the kiss for the whole room. And she was like, it was the dirtiest pash. She said that they both moaned. Yeah. She went, there was a, uh. I was Are like, okay, I just can't imagine that happening. Tanil's come back into the mansion and given us every bloody little detail of her and Nick's kiss down to the final moan. And it's not really sitting with a lot of the girls well. To me, that's tacky. Yeah. And inappropriate. And really inappropriate, yeah. Hey. Hello. How are you going? How going? How's everyone here? Good. We're doing good. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Lee, how do we uh, get, you get your mobile here if you want? Can you yeah. stand up? Can you wait there? I can't. <laughs> OK. But I have these beautiful crutches. See what? <laughs> it's so unfortunate that my first cocktail party in the mansion, I'm on crutches in a moon boot. <laughs> uh, 
Not ideal. No. I'll grab you. <laughs> Again? <laughs> oh, he's carrying her. We'll go for a chat. <laughs> Nick's carried Jamie Lee another time. Are you really injured or is this just a I want to get a rose type pity thing? Go, Jamie Lee! Oh my god. He's carrying me all around town. <laughs> I think Jamie Leach is a massive threat, and I'd be devastated if an intruder stayed over me. Mate, she's staying tonight. When I get this moon boot off, I'm still going to expect <laughs> the same treatment, OK? <laughs> kind of a dream. <laughs> um, he's making me feel like a, a feather. Like, it's, it's definitely attractive being in, you know, these big arms. <laughs> kind of amazing. I'm glad you're here, because I feel it was Obviously, you know, in the game, you got in and got amongst it. That was awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, hear what I do. You have a beautiful smile, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> she's a cracking sort. I think she's physically very attractive. She probably may not feel the same about that. It's a hell of a mug. I go off a bit of feeling. Yeah. And and I, I definitely felt an energy in you that was it was quite calming. It was it was something I feel that I'm more suited to, so I, I'm yeah. definitely going to give it, you know, the chance and, and the time to grow, and, and you never know what happens. Whilst I'm having a chat with Nick, I really pick up on him. He's just got a really warm character. I feel instantly at ease with him. I really believe in never saying no to an opportunity. Yeah. Like, you shouldn't... You should always be open. I've always said, I want to be the granddad with the stories. 100%? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Wisdom to share. Definitely. I'm really hoping I get a, a single date coming up soon, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, I, I have a really good feeling about this. Wait, Tanil. Were you saying that it was gross kissing Nick? <laughs> no, I have never said that. That's not even a thing in my mind. I have never said that. It's just quite offensive. What do you mean it's... No, that's just like, I don't even understand that. Like, that doesn't even make sense to me in my head. No. I heard that. I don't Absolutely know. I not. you were saying like, it was gross for someone to kiss on a date. And... I feel like you're not believing me, but like, I literally wrong. Like, I... It's all right. Okay, if you didn't say it, maybe you just... I'm not hiding how I felt about going into the date. I felt uncomfortable about going into a date with someone, potentially kissing someone who has previously kissed X amount of girls before me in the real world. Would you do that with a man? Myself? No, I wouldn't. Then why are you on The Bachelor? Oh. <laughs> you know what The Bachelor involves. I also said I'm adaptable to the situation and I will go with the flow of things. I'm not saying... Like, for someone that was quite open and vocal about the fact that you think it's pretty gross. Stop saying it, Romy! Huh? I just told you I have not said it's gross and you keep putting the words in my mouth. I did not say that. So stop saying to Neil, you said this. Tanil is screaming at me saying, I don't know what you're talking about. Stop putting words in my mouth. And she got very aggressive. A few of the girls heard it, that's all. Promi, please stop. I've literally told you once. I don't want to have to keep repeating it to you. I've never said that. On my heart, it is, I have never said that. Well, I just didn't know that you'd said awful things like yuck and gross. No, like, I didn't say that. That offends now, me. Yuck has just come into And you're quite happy. you not you stop like... putting words in my mouth, Promi? I actually do. don't had aim it. this at me. It's everyone. Okay. Romy's having a go at me. I'm not here to date Romy and I'm quite sick of listening to her shit. So, yeah, I'm going to pop up out of here and head off. Well, there you go. I thought it was a really telling thing when I saw Tanil just get up from the couch and run outside so dramatically. I was like, mate, all she had to do was sit there and have a discussion with us rather than flee. So I think that's, that's a pretty telling sign. Come here, give us a hug. You right? Yeah. Don't worry, mate. No stress. Don't stress about it. I'm trying to leave the situation, standing there with Shannon, um, and of course, who comes up to me but Romy, because she just doesn't know when to quit. Are you okay? <laughs> what are you upset about? Like, I just... <laughs> you have obviously all been feeling this way. It's it's actually, point. stop, Romy, just let me speak. Wow, you're so aggressive, man. You can't speak like that. Like, so aggressive oh, in how she speaks. 
think Tanil just runs straight past us and I've got no idea where she's running to. Like, run to your friends that you don't have. Hi, Tanil. Keep on running. <laughs> See you, babe. Don't come back. Can you please unmic me? I can't, I'm sorry. If you don't, I will. Well, you do it. I'm not allowed to do it. Hey, guys, I've got Tanil. Yeah, sure. How do you get this Hey, babe, what's going on? No, she just needs a bit no. of time. Tanil. No. Just let her have a bit of time. I just want to make sure she's OK, babe. Hey, Tanil, babe. What's going on? Get those cameras away from me. <laughs> what? Just tell me what's going on. Tanil? No. Babe, talk to me. I have copped nothing but shit from those girls coming home from a single date. I have been nothing but nice to them every time they've gone on one. Tanil, where are you going, babe? You can't. Tanil, Tanil. Listen, stop, stop, stop. I just want to hear what you have to say, babe. Talk to me. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, Tanil. Tanil, just stop. It's very dark down here. Just tell me what. Talk to me. What's going on? Tanil, come here. Come here. What's going on? <laughs> I just can't handle it. What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> I have a sense of my f following me. Tanil, we can't go further than this, babe. Babe, 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 we can't. I mean, we're, like, it's actually dangerous. It's dangerous, babe. We can't, we can't go further than this. It's all right, babe. It's OK. I can see the camera. You can't walk further, babe. Tanil, it's dangerous out here. Tanil, stop. Tanil, you can't run away. Stop running. Seriously, stop it. It's dangerous. Tanil, stop running. Stop. that Tanil is safe and OK? Hey, yes, we're OK. We're just outside, but we have security here as well. Tanil, can you please tell me what's going through your head? I don't want to be here. I refuse to sit in a situation where people are going to pick on me. Picking and picking and picking at me. Why are you yelling at me? And everyone's just losing their biscuits in this house. And I just can't handle it. I know. Listen. How do you feel about Nick? <laughs> I like him. I want to be here for him. I yeah. had the best day ever. Mm. And I feel like I came home on the date and, and from then on, mm. everyone's just, like, hated on me for it. And it's like, why am I mm. being treated so differently to anyone else that's come in here and said how well their date went? Of course. <laughs> I just don't want to be in this house with them anymore. <laughs> I was in no means like saying anything mean to Tanil. She just like, she was like, and then she just went crazy. And I was like, whoa. You've been called out for something that you literally said. Said, I know. What is up with these, what is up with girls? Boring. I'm sorry. Like, I can't. She just can't even like own up to the fact that what she did was wrong. She runs out of the cocktail party, like I'm the victim, I'm the victim. When bro, you're not the victim. You just look like a dick and it's gonna make everyone think you're even more of a pleb. So like, oh. Do you want to take my shoes? No, no. You sure? No, no. I'll walk barefoot for you. No, it's OK. Come here. I'm sorry. No, I told you. I gave you a rose, babe. Nick gave you a rose because he wants to get to know you more and he wants you to stay here. OK? you just got to remember what you're here for. Okay, come on. I'm so 
stay true to you. I'm sorry if I spoke badly to you. Yeah, you did, because you're a biatch. <laughs> you get this. I'm really sorry. Okay. <laughs> to come back into the house. I am here for Nick and I just need to sort of keep focusing on that. I feel annoyed that Tennille has her rose. Like, she should have kept running. Good evening, ladies. Uh, Welcome to your first rose ceremony, Diana. Thank you. Brittany. Jamie Lee, I am so happy that you are OK. <laughs> Thanks. And that you are well on the mend. Thanks, Asha. So there's 15 of you. Tonight, Nick has just 13 roses to give. I'm sorry, ladies. Two of you will leave the mansion tonight. I really want a rose tonight. I feel like there definitely is a connection there. So if intruders were to stay over me, it'd be pretty disappointing. Here's Nick. Shit would hit the fan if one of the originals got sent home over one of the new intruders, because definitely uh, rank myself a little bit more than them. I definitely think there's going to be some sad intruders at the end of the rose ceremony. Jamie Lee. No way. Like, what the hell is going on? Will you accept this rose? Thank you. <laughs> Mate, talk about a sympathy rose. Sophie. Excuse me, Chica. So? Yes. Will you accept this rose? I will. Thank you very much. Overwhelmed by the amount of people that are already here. Oh, I'm so annoyed that there's intruders. Alicia. Cat. We've all formed these connections with Nick, and I don't think we want anything to come and, you know, ruin that. Brooke. There is no way that any of us original girls are leaving tonight. Romy. Seriously, this is actually bullshit. I'd rather just have the intruders instead of Romy. Cassie. I'm thinking, don't panic, you know, you won't pick the intruders over me. Shannon. Ready to go home. Brittany H. There's still so much I have to offer and so much I have to show Nick. Emily. I'm not ready to go home yet. Dasha. Diana. No. Is this a sick joke? I am absolutely gobsmacked. Diana, will you accept this rose? Of course, thank you. There is one rose left and three girls. Either way, one of the original girls is going home and I can't believe it. I feel like shocked. I feel like absolute disbelief and I just, I cannot believe it. Brittany. <gasps> oh, no. Hold up. Oh, oh, 
Brittany, will you accept this for us? Yes, definitely. I told you. That's a f sick jerk. Are you kidding? Like, I'm more than upset, I'm furious. I just don't understand it. Nick chose these bloody mediocre moles over Ashley and Rhiannon. These intruders have the biggest target on their back. I'm coming for them. Tomorrow night, when The Bachelor continues. Hey, lady. A controversial choice. Are you ready for a date? Huh. causes a major stir. I'm not going to pretend that I'm happy, because I'm not. Do you think I should give him an ultimatum? <laughs> yeah, do it. Oh, my God. Before... <laughs> g'day, g'day. <laughs> a light-hearted night... Oh, you look awesome. <laughs> There's just one thing I have to do first. ..takes a serious turn. Tell me who's being mean. ..sparking a shocking departure. She's caused a shit stir in the house, and I think it's time to leave. That changes the game for good. How will this is happening? What are we going to do? Well, YouTube, if you can't get enough Bachelor content, then you need to see more highlights. You'll find them right here. And you can also subscribe to this channel by clicking below.